stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Abby, shout again. I'm over here. I'm coming. coming. Nick. Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You are. Uh, you ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. So, all that stuff back there... Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? Uh, I mean... Yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. Oh, my God! 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 O
It's a fun game. I never wanted starfire. Flick a light and stop and you make me get free. And if I fall, then I'll be falling in your feet. Love's a blood. And it's cutting me so deep. Half a close. Now I have to burn the whole If I wake up. Here's next to you It's only worth it if it hurts Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick stung in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite... Not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. Yeah, we'll see about that. Track it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, track it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett.
Who the hell is Thacket? Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Hmm. What are these numbers? Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or... You know, we could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because... You see, oh, help! Help, I'm... I'm drowning, and I... I need a big, strong, not-at-all-insecure man to come save me. <laughs> okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Switch! Oh, stop being a uh, rock! Uh, attack! <laughs>
Okay, hey. Look. <clears throat> Check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your, like, um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. <laughs> oh, so I get nine more? What? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on neither. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Okay. Got this. Whoa. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful.
Oh, fuck! Gotta get, we gotta go. Uh, Good walk. Can't. Come on, gotta go. Uh, Come on, let's get back to the fire. Girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing?
придет. Шш, кой? Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? What the fuck? What the fuck? Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Hmm. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. The Tower. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? No? Okay, if that's what you want. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell me what those guys did to you? Rush did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the the hunter. Uh, yeah, there was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me, I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, sorry. Sorry. You're okay. 
It's okay. Mm, fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. It, it was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like as fast as I could. From the lake. Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. Hunters, I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. Oh, and Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, one of the, one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice and it was, yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. Gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. 
If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! <laughs> Prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by means of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I... 
take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? <sighs> Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy, and as they say, time makes fools of us all but we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? The Raven Nevermore. Maybe we'll just take a look up this way. Is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I 
guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool though, they're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those, I'm sorry officer, I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And Oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place, seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff or maybe one of the guys back there, but I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore
Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Damn. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help, my friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident, long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old 
equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. 